What's going on everyone? So recently Dirk Cuz, a TikTok flat earther, made an observation and said it matched the globe model and that he now knows and accepts that Earth is a globe. Now you'd think flat earthers would try to debunk this. You know, that's what they claim to do. And instead we get excuses, dismissals, hand waves, and a lot of people refusing to actually test the observation. So since nobody on flat Earth wants to do the work, I'm gonna do it for you. I'm gonna go through and debunk Dirk Cuz's globe proof. So in his video, Dirk Cuz says he's standing on Kauai looking towards Oahu. He shows his location at a lookout, and then he shows this military installation on Oahu that he said is visible from the spot he was. So when he does the elevation chart here, he gives the distance of 86.2 miles. So here's what I got though. When I mapped it out, I did get 86.3 miles. He got 0.2, I got 0.3. It could be a matter of 60 feet and around and Google Earth rounding. So now in the next shot here, uh, Dirk Cuz shows his coordinates. He zooms in. So here are the coordinates he gave. So I plugged those coordinates into Google and they did not drop me on Kauai. They dropped me over here on the big island, over 250 miles away from where he claimed to be. And here's the thing. If there were any genuine flat earthers out there that were actually trying to debunk him or prove him wrong, they would have caught this immediately. But they didn't do that. Instead, they just came up with excuse after excuse, dismissed it, hand waved it away, because that's all they really have. But here's the thing about these coordinates. It's actually not somewhere insignificant. This is exactly the same spot that he made a observation with Chris Van Dum about a month before this other observation. So it was simply a thing of he grabbed the wrong screenshot and plugged it in here. But because he's so thorough, we do know where he actually was. And he goes into the street view of it. So it's not an accusation. It just needs to be addressed since we are actually testing the claim to try and debunk it. That he did make the mistake and put some old coordinates from a previous observation. Now we can go into Peak Finder and put the pin where it showed he was. This is as close as I can get without exactly knowing the GPS coordinates. But you can see it matches what he shows. It does give us an elevation of 180 feet. Topographical maps give us like 189, 190, stuff like that. So we're just going to split the difference and call it 185 while we test this claim. Now, I'm not going to do all the heavy lifting here. I'm going to let dirt. So he, what he did was he lined up his near infrared camera shot on top of a Google view of the actual mountain. And this is all he could see. And then later, he does the same thing with Peak Finder. Now this he highlighted and he highlighted it because he was saying to see the entire island, he had to increase his elevation by almost 10,000 feet. And he was seeing more than the island. He's seeing the water leading up to it. So we're going to do the same thing right now. We know that we can see this bit at 180 foot elevation, big screen. It You can see everything, but now we're going to start climbing up. And more of that island comes into view. And like I said, he went high enough so that he could see the water leading up to it. But we really don't have to. We can see pretty much the whole island at almost 5,000 feet high. But he is missing everything under this point. And we'll go back down and show you. So we can clearly see how much of Oahu is clearly hidden because of Earth's curvature. And we can see it when we look at his infrared video. But again, like I said, I'm going to let him do the heavy lifting and let him line it up. Now let's check what the Walter Bislin Advanced Earth Curvature Calculator says. I did that for you, Scotty. First with zero refraction, which is physically unrealistic, but often demanded. Uh, with zero refraction, we get about 3,226 feet hidden and 799.3 feet, so pretty much 800 feet visible. Now with standard refraction. Uh, 2554 feet hidden, 1471 feet visible. So pretty much with standard refraction, we're having about two thirds of the mountain hidden. With no refraction whatsoever, we're having about three quarters of the mountain hidden. But let's see what Peak Finder says. So we're going to go back down to ground elevation, zoom in as much as I can, and then we're going to drag this until it hits that mountain. There we go. So Peak Finder says that we're missing essentially 2,550 feet. 
with standard refraction, because he's in Hawaii looking over 80 miles of Pacific Ocean, there's probably some humidity there, just saying, it lines up almost exactly to what Peak Finder says and to what his observation matched. So while flat earthers make excuses and avoid doing the math, I actually tried to debunk this observation. And when you put it to real scrutiny, it matches the globe model almost dead on. Even when I tried to debunk it, and I'm going to go ahead and let dirt sign us off. This is proof. It's a globe. Get over it.